Every once in a while you got games that nobody pays attention to, nor do they even want to cover and give exposure. Over here at NGI we don't play that fucking bullshit. Cue that intro. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Husky Puppy over here at NGI and today like I said we're giving thanks to all the creators, we're giving exposure to all the creators, we're giving the life baby, the life. Listen, Day of the Devs started off with a game that I thought it was genius, magnificent, it's called Time Flies, newly announced exploration video game based on you have 70 seconds to fucking live and you gotta do and complete items on a bucket list. Similar to un Untitled Goose Game, which I love that game. You can learn an instrument, go on tour, get rich. Time Flies is made by Michael Frere and Rafael Munoz. Sorry if I butchered y'all names, guys. Coming to the PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, PC, Mac sometimes this year. You play as a fucking fly, fly around before you die. Check that shit out. Time Flies, baby. Time Flies. Game of the year, 10 out of 10. I'm not being sarcastic. That game looked fucking fire. After that, we had Planet of Lena. Planet Atlanta is a got a new detailed trailer breakdown of a puzzle adventure gameplay with something bright and less disturbing vibes. It follows Lena, a young woman whose sister has been captured by an invading robot army. She must be tried to be rescued. After that, we had Choo 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 Charles, baby. Choo Choo Charles, baby. Choo Choo Charles is a pure nightmare. You're a guy on an island inhabited by horror evil with spiders coming to eat your soul. Comes out early 2022 on a PC, developed by Two Star Games. You know what I'm saying? After that, we have Escape Academy, boys. Escape Academy, the developer, Coin Crew Games. It's coming to PC. It is an escape room adventure. If y'all never know about escape rooms, you go into a room, you solve a bunch of puzzles, and you you got to make it out before the time ends. And uh, it will be on Game Pass day one. We had a little to the left, which is a, po a puzzle video game where you just take average everyday normal household items and arrange it. And um, you get a little bit of glee. Comes from the studio Max Inferno. Check it out. After that, we had the beer and breakfast. From developer from develop Rupert Beer and breakfast is a chill management simulator about being a bear. You get to craft. Some people in the chat will call it Minecraft Bear, or Minecraft 2, or Bearcraft Mind. Think about it. Comes out, PC on Switch, PC and Switch, not on July 28th. After that, we had a pixel art exploration game with puzzles. Craziness, coming to PS5 and PC, shredded memories. It's called Animal Well. If you don't know about animals, y'all motherfucker find out. Then we had a lake alligator type 2D pixel art swimming adventure. Didn't really get my attention, to be honest, but despite that, still kind of fire. Called Nelly Dad. Nelly Dad. Nelly Dad. Whatever. Sorry that I can't pronounce the game properly, guys. So check it out. After that, we had a 2D pixelated. People kept calling it Tibia in the chat, but it's called Roots of Pacha. And it's a management game, building up a civilization from the beginning. Grow a village, have fun, raise animals, be yourself. After that, we had Desta. Desta is another puzzle game, but you're a character stuck in a world where everything is difficult, just like fucking real life. Check out Desta, the memories between. On top of that, we had Scrim, Scrim, Scrim. Is a uh, game where you play as a shadow or a blob and you just hop only in the shadows. You can't stay in the light too long or you die. So you have to go through the shadows. It's actually one of the most unique games other than Time Flies that's in this lineup that was in this showcase. Really cool art. Really cool design. It's actually a hidden gem. After that we had Absolute. Absolute is just a absolute indie game kind of kind of cool kind of beautiful 
Y'all have, I'll have all the footage in the back while I'm talking about it so y'all can see what the fuck I'm talking about. And then after that, we had Fox and Frogs, the demons of Astrino Island. You know, it's about a Japanese indie game. And it's, uh, very froggy. It's very, uh, craziness. Comes out in a few years, though. Don't really know too much about it, to be honest. After that, we had Goodbye World, the debut game from Yo Fuji. Published by Fly High Works. It's a narrative adventure game about two indie creators. One shy, the other's an extrovert. It's a story about making video games inspired by Super NES classics and Game Boy classics. Coming out later this year on the PC. No uh, no idea about consoles. Then we had Birth. Birth is a point and click puzzle game. Just when you thought the genre was dead, it comes back. Fucking pounding y'all. Doggy style. Comes out on the PC, fall 2022. Then we got, hello. How to say goodbye. Another puzzle. Reimagining, reorganization, Rubik's Cube storybook world. Inspired by children illustrations, but children can't draw. So it looks like doo-doo garbage fire. But it has a good premise. And the devs look genuine. Check it out. One of my favorites that we're going to talk about on top of Time Flies. In the Blob Shadow game. It's called Little Nemo and the Guardians of Slumberland. The final game it was shown, it's a musical performance game based off of the NES sequel, Little Nemo, The Dream Master. It's being developed by Dicesoft and it's launching a Kickstarter, so the game doesn't even know if it's going to be a game yet, but it was in the showcase. And that is it, guys. That is the Day of the Devs. The games that no one wants to cover, that no one wants to talk about. Well, I'm giving y'all the exposure. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that fucking like. And as always, subscribe. Yeah. I'm Husky Puppy over here, host by NGI. Thank y'all. God bless and peace.